And in the wake of Paul Ryan's retirement announcement, the race to become the next Speaker of the House is heating up. The election won't be until January, but some conservative activists are already making their voices heard for Jim Jordan. One of America's John Hines has that report from Washington. Ohio Congressman Jim Jordan's effort to become the next Speaker of the House appears to be kicking into high gear with a planned Capitol Hill rally when Congress returns next week. Jordan would make an excellent speaker just when I look at his track record. He always votes the way that he campaigns and he would be moving those big ticket issues that caused people in the, in the recent election cycles to vote for Republicans. So our goal is to show people that, hey, the, Jordan's got a lot of support, not just support from a few outside groups here and there, but Jordan has support of Grassroots America. And Grassroots America, from as far away as Oklahoma and Florida, will be gathering on the West Lawn of the Capitol to voice their support of the founder of the conservative House Freedom Caucus to become the next Speaker of the House, says Adam Brandom, president of Freedom Works, which is organizing the Jordan for Speaker rally. So it's going to be right outside on the Capitol, and it's uh, the way that we've organized it is that we kind of picked activists from certain congressional districts. So this is part of the campaign to get Jim Jordan elected speaker. It is part of the campaign, but it's also meant to just fire up the conservative base ahead of the midterm election. Because if you're sitting at home right now disappointed about Obamacare or spending, you know if Jim Jordan is speaker, he's going to take care of you in that next election cycle, or that next Congress. And so what may happen is even if these votes don't ultimately pass, at least he's got the guts to put them on the floor. Which is significant, says Brandon, because conservatives appear frustrated by a Congress that may, for political reasons, not put a vote on the floor or hide a vote. But that's not Jordan's style, says North Carolina Congressman Mark Meadows, who will be rallying the crowd on behalf of his friend and colleague. It's an easy speech for me to give. You know, it's one of those things, not only do I know Jim personally, but I know what he stands for. And, and I think the vast majority of the American people uh, want somebody that is willing to fight for them. And certainly uh, Jim has never share, has shied away from a fight that, uh, you know, he believes is principled and and on behalf of the American people's best interest. And their best interest, first, may involve working to keep the House in the Republican column and lawmakers doing what they promise, says Jim Jordan. We appreciate the grassroots support um, we've received from so many conservative organizations. Freedom Works did a survey of their um, survey of their membership, and it, uh, it was like 992 uh, supporting us for, for the office of uh, Speaker of the House. So uh, priority number one is to keep the House, and that's what I'm focused on. If we do and I get the privilege to lead, we're going to focus on, on one, simple, one simple objective, doing what we said. The rally is planned for September 26th. Jordan adds that Tea Party Patriots, Media Research Center, and the Club for Growth, among other organizations, are also supporting his candidacy. John Hines, One America News, Washington. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.